no, 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 no. Um, my Lords, I, I really hope we don't play party politics with this bill. Earlier on, it was said that the Home Secretary had uh, created a crisis by the use of rhetoric. Um, and I'd just like to point out, no, she didn't. There is a crisis, and that is that we're not controlling the borders. So I think that we have to be very careful on all sides, by the way. Will the Minister, though, reflect, based on the statement, that the very concepts of modern slavery, for example, but even asylum and refugee status, are in danger of being undermined by the confusion caused by claiming that people from safe countries are fleeing war and persecution. People are becoming cynical about when they hear the terms asylum. And then there's a gaslighting of the British public who challenge them, who are told that they're inhumane and, uncom and uh, not compassionate. Could I just ask the Minister to reflect on the toxicity that's been created by that, where trending we've got Nazi Germany, 1930s and all the rest of it. That's an insult to the British public, isn't it? Um, yes. Uh, the, the I, I certainly, uh, taking the uh, noble lady's points in order, I certainly uh, very much heed her words. And it's very important that uh, discussion of these issues happens in a calm and measured fashion. Uh, and um, as to her second point in relation to the cynicism that is born of the abuse of the generosity of the British people towards those seeking asylum and humanitarian protection, I couldn't agree more. And it's uh, sadly that. Um, which has led to uh, a reputation that um, these measures can be abused by those who are um, in reality wanting to come to Britain uh, to, uh, for uh, reasons of economic migration rather than for genuine protection uh, and abusing those measures that have led uh, to a degree of cynicism uh, amongst the public. Uh, and um, uh, finally, um, uh, uh, as to whether um, uh, on her final point as to whether there's a certain toxicity to it. Um, there is, and the best way to deal with that is to stop the boats and to have a system of asylum protection that brings people directly uh, from neighbouring countries to those areas from where these people come and doesn't allow people to jump the queue by uh, travelling across Europe and paying the people smugglers. I think we all 